Good afternoon everybody and welcome to our Sunset Safari. As you can see in the background, there are the spots of little Shongile. So we've already found Shongile and guess what? The best news about it, well there's two good parts about it. Look at the size of her belly, nice and big and full. And she's got company in the form of her brother Hosanna who's lying over there. So I think this is the first time these two have been together in a very long time. So there's Hosanna, he's just lying in the ditch. And so the two of them are together and they definitely must have had a kill because both bellies are massive. Now before we carry on and get into our leopards for the day, my name is Tristan and on camera today I've got Sebastian and remember this is a live interactive safari which means that you can get hold of us on hashtag safari live on Twitter or on the YouTube chat should you want to ask any questions. But what a way to start our afternoon to have two leopards lounging about in close proximity to the camp so they're just north of the camp very very close to where we were tracking leopard yesterday and so I think that little Shongile must have made a kill yesterday and Hosanna has come in and possibly tried to rob it and now they're just lying together I believe that at some stage today they were seen walking around together and lying right next to one another so that bond between them is still not completely severed and they still have some sort of a connection which is really cool so you can see Shongila though she's fast fast asleep and I'd imagine with a belly like that these two are not going to be moving too much today I think they're going to be in a situation where they're probably going to spend most of the day relaxing and keeping it taking it very easy now the weather conditions today have changed quite a bit compared to yesterday afternoon it's not nearly as windy as what we were seeing yesterday it's also a little bit warmer so that means that I'm pretty sure they're gonna seek shelter in the shade for as long as possible and they'll probably go for a drink around sunset that's what I would imagine but other than that I don't think I'm gonna to see too much movement from them today interesting though that I believe this morning Tundi was seen at the dam and she was moving in a northerly direction so she seems to have also been in this general vicinity overnight so it must have been a busy busy evening around the camp and I believe a lot of you are very excited to see the cubs together it is ex incredibly exciting it's the first time that I've actually seen the two of them together since the disappearance of Karula which is all the way back a few months ago so super glad that the two of them are hanging about and that are actually spending time together it must be quite cool and I'm hoping that we're going to see them kind of go together and groom one another and walk around together it'll be really good and I wonder if this isn't going to be a few days of us seeing them side by side I certainly hope so and the nice thing is that they're deep 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 into Buyatela they're right in the central part so hypothetically we should have these two for a few days to come which is fantastic news and I'm certainly very glad that both of them are here Oh, Justin, you want to know who you, I think is the older one of the two. Um, Justin, difficult to say. It's um, at the end of the day, you've got, you know, they were born outside of it where any of us could actually see. And, and it's, yeah, and they were, and if they are older, it's a few minutes. It's not really too long that one is older than the other. So I'm not sure. I, I would, maybe Hosanna, just given that he tends to be a little bit more adventurous. Um, it'll be interesting to know, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with them when they were first tiny tiny little cubs So it'll be interesting to know from Brent and Jamie and James Whether or not who was the actual the most bold of the two of them Maybe the one that was born first was a little bit more bold But of course that's just an assumption There's really no way to tell exactly what the situation is and who came out first unfortunately The only way we would know that is if we had a camera there when she gave birth But again like I say we wouldn't have been there Vicky, you're wondering if it's normal for brother and sister to share a kill. Well, Vicky, at the end of the day, these two have shared many a kill together when they were younger and with mom, and they're still quite young. Theoretically, they could have still been with Karula had she been around, and that would mean that they might have still been sharing kills. Also, you'll find in the leopard world, it's not uncommon for them to share kills. We know that we've had Shongile with the Mvula and Tandi in the same area, not too far from where we are now. So every now and then you will find that leopards do come together over a carcass There's no might not necessarily actually share it and eat off it and allow one another to eat off it so you find when the big males come in they don't let anyone come near their carcass but with these two they know each other they grew up together and sharing of carcasses was what they did for their formative years and that is probably still ingrained in them and because they neither of them are territorial yet it means that they don't actually have to worry too much about sharing the kill and feeding off it they still know one another and who knows how much they actually spend time together south of our boundary and I think at 
this stage, you probably find that these two have spent a lot more time together than we've actually know. We keep missing them, but I wonder if they haven't been spending a lot of time in places where we haven't been. Now we're going to, like I say, spend most of our afternoon with him. Oh, well, hello girl, who just popped up to say hello. So there's another car that's just arrived. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? She's getting bigger and bigger by the day. She's still small in comparison to Hosano. Hosano looks positively massive where he's lying in comparison to her, but she's most definitely growing by the day. And the more I see her, the more Karula-like she looks. She's tending to really get that same sort of facial feature as her mother. But like I was saying, we're going to spend time here this afternoon. We're going to enjoy our afternoon as they lounge about in the shade. And while we do that, let's go back to Taylor and see where she's off to this afternoon and whether or not she's going to go on a spotted cat mission of her own. <laughs> 